Hello, first graders. Welcome to a new math lesson. We are in Topic 5, Lesson 3, Doubles Plus 2. We started this topic when we have the doubles and we know For example, double five, one, two, three, four, five. That's mean I have five in each addend or each part. So double five is 10. I add one more and one of the addend means 10 plus one is 11. All right, today's lesson, we're gonna add two. So it's gonna be doubles plus two instead of what we have uh, last lesson. All right, so. This is your number, five. We're gonna go with double and then double plus two. So let's say you and your friend went to collect seashells, right? And both of you collect the same number. You had five, so that's easy. Five plus five. I know my doubles, double, double five is 10. Very good. Now, after you did this, you found two more extra seashells. Two more, that means one of your addend will be two more. So two more than five is seven, very good. So I have five and my friend had two more, seven. So five plus seven, I know my double, double five is 10, 10 and two more, very good. Okay, let's go for six. Double six. Very good, 12. Now, plus two more. Two more than second addend, so two more than 12. So two more than six is eight. So six plus eight, which is double plus two. So six plus eight, this means two more than your doubles. Two more than 12 is, you got it, 14. All right, double seven. I know, seven plus seven. Let me get my counters. Two, four, five, six. Make sure I have seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven plus seven, 14. That's your double, all right? Plus two. So 14 plus two, 15, 16, awesome. So first I'm gonna put my doubles, seven plus seven. Say 14. Now plus two, so one my addends gonna be two more. Two more than seven is nine. That's mean my 14 will be two more, which is very good, 16. All right. Over here, I can do something a bit different. Let's say if I have it like this. So I have seven in one side and nine in the other side, right? So I can say that seven plus nine or i can put one here and then i'm gonna have eight plus eight so back to my double or i will say for example okay if i have nine plus seven I will say, okay, what's the number between seven and nine? I have one add in seven and the other one is nine. What's between seven and nine? Very good, eight. So eight plus eight, 16, yes. We'll learn about that more in the back. We get more example. 
double, double eight. Very good. Eight plus eight, 16. And now eight plus 10, that's mean plus two, double plus two, one my addend would be two more. So two more than eight, 10, two more than my 16, 18. So you can double and add one or choose a number between the two addends you have. All right, let's see the exercise. And we'll do some using the double plus two or taking double with list numbers. All right, these are doubles plus two. Doubles plus two facts. So six plus eight, the fact means six plus six plus two more. So one addend is six and the other addend two more than six. Over here, nine plus seven is seven, double seven, and then two more than the seven, right? Because doubles plus two. We have now different ways to do that. All right, so six plus eight. Let's see the first example. Double the lesser number, then add two. This is the part we say here when we say, okay, so double five, add two. Or double seven, then add two. So six plus two, that's mean I'm gonna double my six and I add two more. Your list number is six. So think of double six is 12 and then add two more. So double six is 12 and two more than 12 is 14. And that's what we did in the first page. All right. Or double the numbers between. Because remember, it's 6 and 8 here. If we take this example here, 6 plus 8. So we did already, if we take here, two, four, six, and then this is the six. So this is, I'm gonna double the small number, this are number, so the list is six. So I'm doubling six, six, double six is 12, and the eight is two more than 12. I'm putting two more, so 12, 13, 14, right? So double six is 12, and then two more than 12 is 14. Okay, now let's see this part. Double the number between, so I know I have six, I have eight. What's the number between six and eight? I'm sorry, uh, seven, six and eight, yes, six and eight. So what's the number between six and eight? Six and eight, what's the number here? Seven, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna double seven so seven plus seven, 14. And that's my answer. So either you see the two addend you have and double the number between, or double your number and add two more. Let's say if I have, um, nine and seven. So nine plus seven, all right, I have two choice. Number one, double the lesser number, which is seven. So double seven, seven plus seven, I know my doubles, 14. And two more, because nine is two more than seven. So two more than 14 is 16. So nine plus seven equal 16, all right? All right, we're gonna use the same sentence nine plus seven, but we're using that number between. So I'm gonna say here, nine plus seven, but I wanna use different way, not the double plus two. 
So what's a different way? I'm going to look here. I put 7 and I put 9. What's the number between 7 and 9? 8. Okay, what's double 8? Very good, 16. So my answer is right. So either double the lesser number and add 2 or take the number between the two addend and double the number between them. Okay, let's see do our exercise now. Okay. Use a double fact to help you add. So we're using the double fact, right? If you count the yellow cubes, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I see here six plus eight. That mean six plus six double six and two more so six plus six twelve and two more than twelve fourteen very good or i have six and eight what's the number between six and eight seven so if i double the seven i have fourteen okay let's count one two three four five so five pink and five pink double five ten plus 2, this means 5 plus 7, so 10 plus 2 more is 12, so 5 plus 7 is 12. And if I need to take the number between 5 and 7, so I put 5 and 7, I'm sorry, 7, what's the number I comes here? 6. So I'm going to double this number. So 6 plus 6, you got it. Over here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have 8 here and 8 here. So double 8, double 8. Very good, 16. 16, one, one of my addend, it's 2 more than 8, which is 10. That means 2 more than 16. Awesome, 18. Let's do number four. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So seven and seven, right? Seven and seven, 14. But I have two more extra. So two more than 14, 16. So seven plus nine, because two more than seven. So seven plus nine, very good, because I know my double seven, 14, plus two more, 16. All right, then I'm using the second way, which is the number between my two addends, seven and nine. What's the number come between seven and nine? Eight, so eight plus eight, double eight, equals 16, all right? Okay. Which double fact, which double facts can help solve seven plus nine? Like here, the example you have, seven plus nine or nine plus seven. So we can say double seven plus two, or the number between seven and nine, right? So I can say like this, using double seven, and I'm gonna write seven plus seven equals and then two more than 14 very good so 7 plus 9 equals 16 or I'll take the number between 7 and 9 which is I doubled the lesser number but now I'm gonna take the number between 7 and 9 which is 8 and double the 8 and my answer would be 16 so either double the lesser number the smaller number in my equation here I have 7 and 9 7 plus 9 so the smaller or the lesser number is 7 so I'm gonna double 7 and then I add two more or I'm gonna look at 7 and 9 what's the number between 8 
double number it and your answer will be always the same okay let's go for that next uh, page page 173 and go independent practice draw two more cubes use a doubles fact to help you edit all right so one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven so seven plus seven seven plus seven 14. i have two more that's mean one of my addend is two more so i'm gonna draw right so seven plus seven 14 and then one my addend i double that lesson and then the other addend is two more so i know two more than 14 would be 16. awesome okay number six one two three four five six seven eight so we have eight and we have eight so i need to do the doubles so a plus eight And I can see my second addend, it's two more. So I'm gonna draw two more cubes. So one is eight, and the other addend, or the second addend, it's 10. So now eight plus 10, that's mean two more than that double, two more than 16, 18. All right. All right, let's do the second one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm always double the lesser. And the lesser is six. So I'm doubling six. Six plus six equals 12. And I know one of my addends is two more. So I'm drawing two more cubes. So now I have eight plus six. I know that double six is 12 plus two more because eight is two more than six. So two more than 12 is. 14. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So two rows, five each, double fives. I go for my fives. I know my double fives. 10. And then I see 7 plus 5. That's mean one of my addend, two more than five. I'm drawing two more cubes. And I don't need to add because I know double five is 10 plus two more because seven is two more than five so 12 very good all right let's do one of let's do number seven and number eight using the um, the new method or the new way which is the number between the two addends you have so if i have here one is eight and one is six. So what's the number between eight and six? Seven. So seven plus seven equals 14. Very good. All right, let's come here. I have seven, one of my add seven and one is five. What comes between seven and five? Very good, six. So six plus six equals 12. So if you number between the two addend the two different addend or if you double the lesser your answer and add two your answer will be the same okay algebra circle the number sentence that is false false not true usually we circle the correct answer this one we're gonna circle that false answer or the incorrect answer okay number nine six plus four equals eleven and 16 equals 9 plus 7. So, if I'm going to use this method, so let me put this here. I'm just going to explain it so as a way to practice more. So, 6 plus 4 equals 11. Okay, I know my rules. I'm going to double the lesser number and I add 2. So, double 4 is, very good, 8. And 
and then six is two more than four, right? That means I'm gonna add two more to the eight. So six plus four equals 10. Oh, but it says here 11. So that's mean this is not right. This is incorrect or false. So this is the one I'm gonna circle. Because I know now if I use a double, the lesser number, it should be four plus four, eight, and I double, uh, I, I add two to the, uh, to the number of the answer or one of, the, one of my add-ins, so it's gonna be 10. But the answer here is 11. Okay, what if I say, hmm, what's the number between six and four? Five, okay, I'm gonna double five. So double five equals 10. So even double, if I use this method or this method, answer is 10, but they give me 11, so this is wrong. I'm circling, as they say, circle the number sentence that is false. So this is false. This is the one you circle. Let's see if number 10 also false or, or, or not. Write like this. Okay. 16 equals 9 plus 7. All right. I'm going to double the lesser number, which is 7 plus 7 equals 14. And I know that 9, it's 2 more than 7. So 2 more than 7, that means 2 more than my answer. So 7 plus 9 equals 16. Or 16 equals 7 plus 9, like this way. Hmm. Let me try the number between. So I have 9 and I have 7. What's the number between seven and nine? Eight. So if I double eight, so double eight is 16. So that means this is right, and I'm not gonna circle it because I need to circle the false number or the wrong answer. All right, so now I know that only number nine need to be circled. Okay. Solve the problems below. Number 11. Kelly and Eric each made six sand castles. All right. Then Kelly made two more. How many sand castles did they make it all? Write an addition sentence to solve. So one made six. That's easy. And then the other one made also six, but then she, she added two more. So two more than six is eight. And now I can easily fix this. I know my double six, double six is 12. Eight is two more than six, so 12 plus two is 14. Or I look at the number six and eight, what number comes between them? What do I say before I reach seven? I say six, seven, eight. So seven is the number between six and eight. So double seven, 14. So either or but over here I need to only use this but this one to help you get the same answer so how many castles I put here 14 all right Ben saw seven starfish Jimmy saw nine starfish how many starfish did they say see in all so seven and nine double seven is 14 and two more or the number between seven and nine eight double eight is very good all right number 13 journal mike and kim solved five plus seven they use different ways to find the answers are they both correct explain so there's two different ways, and they both get the right answer so we need to find out if they're both right and explain why. all right mike says Five plus seven, right? So Mike says five plus five, double the lesser number is 10 and two more, because seven is two more than five, right? Five, two more is seven. So, and two more than 12, uh, two more than 10 is 12. So five plus seven is 12. So Mike was right. Let's see what Kim says. Kim says five plus seven. Hmm, what's the number between five and seven? Six. So if I double the six, it's gonna be 12. So 
can also get the right answer and use a different word. So she used the number between five and seven, double it, and she get 12. So Kim also is right. So what are we gonna say? We're gonna say, yes, they're both are right. So what did Mike used? Right. So Mike used a double fact. So it doubles plus, very good, plus two. That's our new lesson which is you double your listen number and add two, right? But Kim, what Kim used, Kim used the double facts. Which is the, the number between the five and seven, four, the number, between five and seven. So they both right, but they both use different ways. And then we're now familiar with, two, with both ways. Either you double the listener number and add two, because our listener is doubles plus two, or take the number between your two add-ins and double it. So for example, five, double five is 10, and then double plus two, so five, one of the add is seven, so five plus seven is 12, because double five is 10, and two more, 12. Or look at five plus seven, what's the number between five plus seven? I'm sorry, what's the number between five and seven? What's the number? Six, so six, double six is 12. All right, that's it for today, first graders. This is our doubles plus two, and that was the new word for the lesson, all right? Thank you. Bye-bye.